Today, I'm gonna to let you look into my geek closet and I'm gonna show you the best tools to be found online. I love a tool. Just give me, give me, give me. I love tools. So I'm going to show you my favorite tools. There's a lot, but I'm going to show you four today that I think are critical to any business owner's digital life. First of all, with graphics. I have a graphic arts degree from Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design here in Colorado. And if I never went into Photoshop again, I would be just fine because it takes so long. Like I'd go in to make one graphic and I had like three hours, I'd come out of there with my eyes kind of like hurting me and I had one graphic done. So I've stopped using Photoshop. Love you Photoshop, but no more. Look at my screen here. I use a tool called Canva. So it's like canvas without the S. And boy, this has been a lifesaver for me. I can nerd out on this tool all day long. So here's what I do, uh, just to kind of pull back the curtain, is I, I'm at home, I'm in my living room, I've had a long day, I put the laptop on my lap, I turn on a cake show, and I go to town and I make graphics. Now maybe I'm showing my nerd, but that's something fun and creative I can do, and I can still be relaxing and watch my shows. So this is something that is so easy, that's why I can do it. Canva is genius because what they've done is they've taken away the guesswork around how big does that graphic need to be. You've got a banner, you've got social posts that are one size, you've got Instagram stories that are one size, you've got Twitter. I mean, it's like crazy as a business owner trying to figure out all these different sizes. Well, check this out. You can see here we got YouTube channel art, Instagram story, Facebook cover, Facebook posts, YouTube thumbnail. I mean, they're all in here, which is fantastic. Now, as you scroll down, you'll see these are all of my designs and the designs are saved in here. So if I wanna go in and change it, I can easily do that. So here you'll see, this is a recap of my videos this week. So they give you all of these different design templates, which makes my life so much easier. I don't have to bring all this creative energy to the party anymore. They bring it for me. So if there's a specific event, so here you'll see, these are all of my YouTube videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make these smaller. I can just fit that piece in. Or if I don't want that one, I can just go in, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna delete all that. So what you do is you select that. Now I can come in here and I can say, love your website visitors. Oh my gosh, you see how easy this is? Then I can come down here and I can put findability.com, done. Then I export that, it's ready to go and post to my channel. This makes your life so much easier because all the thought work around the look and feel is done for you. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you is over here under uploads, you can upload all of your own content. So you'll see here, I've got pictures from my events, I've got thumbnails from my YouTube channel. So I can go in and I can post something. So let's take a look at this. So I can go in, I'm not saying, I'm not gonna use this background. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna pull this up. So I have a video that we produce every single day, Monday through Friday. So here you'll see there's my video thumbnail. So now I can go and I can say, okay, I want the background to be black. I'm gonna add text. So you'll see here that they have all different kinds of text. Now you don't have to use the whole thing. You can just use a piece of it. I'm just gonna use this one. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna make that the color that I need. You know, this is the primary area where you can say, okay, this is the font that I want. They have hundreds of fonts in here. You can also upload your own font, which is fantastic. And also you can have your brand colors saved in here as well. Now I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna make that yellow. I'm gonna spread this apart. It's very, very intuitive. There, there's my graphic. I go ahead and download it. I can download it with the transparent background. I can compress the file so it's not too big. And I can also adjust it You'll see here, I can make it into a JPEG, a PDF, a PDF print, a video, or an animation. And now I'm done. And then I make another one. So what I do is I go in here and I create these images and then I use them as templates. So you just use this little copy page. And then what I'll do is I'll go in, I'll grab another image and I'll do the same thing over and over again. Now I'm building sustainability in my designs. So when clients see these or followers see these videos, they're used to this look and feel on the website and on my social media. So cool, right? I love Canva. So great. 
All right, the next tool I absolutely adore, couldn't do my business without it, is SEM Rush. And that's Search Engine Marketing Rush, SEMrush.com. You'll see here, this is a tool, it's not free. You can get a seven day free trial if you sign up and give them your email. But this tool has been probably the most significant tool in my arsenal when it comes to understanding human behavior, data. Let me log in and I'll show you what I mean. Now this tool is $99 a month. That's the smallest they have. So when you log in, there's a lot to look at here, but let me just show you some of the highlights. First of all, there's just the dashboard. So what I can do is I can come in here, I can put in my, any domain name you want. We usually put in the client's domain names. Now I'm gonna be able to see a list of keywords that my website currently ranks for. So you'll see here that I have 453 keywords I currently rank for. I can see how many people are linking back to my website, close to 2,000, and I can see the distribution of traffic. So you see that US is most of my traffic. I get some nice amount from the UK, Canada, Australia. I can also see how many people are looking at my website on mobile devices, which is awesome. I can also see my top keywords right here. So like you'll see here, I rank at uh, the bottom of the page for SEO coaching, and then I've got a bunch of other phrases. If I wanna see the full list, I can see that as well. Here we go, here's all the keywords I currently rank for. So it's important to understand that I can take a look at these and I can make sure that the content that I am, the content that I'm optimizing for is actually showing up here in the search results, okay? And where does it search in there? All right, now we're gonna go to keyword analytics. Now I adore, this is a tool called the Keyword Magic Tool. I love it. Just add the word magic to anything and it sounds instantly better. Okay, here's magic. Now I'm gonna go in here, I'm just gonna put in like, um, let's just do SEO uh, workshops. So I put SEO workshops in and now it's gonna give me, give me all the variants to that. So you'll see I've got 110 searches per month for SEO workshop. Now keep in mind that's an exact match phrase, so just SEO workshop, it has 110 searches a month, that's well over 1,200 searches a year. And if I can break page one of that, that's gonna be really good for my business. And here you'll see I have SEO Workshop Los Angeles, SEO Training Workshop, but you'll see how much smaller the search volume is there. So SEO Workshop has 110 searches per month. And then you'll see there's always an interesting difference between the plural and the singular. So make sure to always look at that. So that's another one of my favorites. There are so many great tools in here. Just the ranking tool and the keyword magic tool, you'll be in a really good spot to do amazing keyword research. There is a lot else going on here and we'll have many, many videos on SEMrush, but this is one of my favorite tools. The next tool that I absolutely adore is a tool called Answer the Public. Now, it's got this really strange guy with a ridiculously large sweater. Don't really understand that, but it does certainly get your attention. Now, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put SEO Workshop. Actually, I'm just gonna put SEO. This is a tool that if you put the smaller version of a keyword in here, you're gonna get a lot more recommendations. So as I come down here, I'm gonna get questions, prepositions, comparisons, alphabetics, and related. And look at this. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa. You're like, okay, that's a lot. What it's doing is it's showing you all the ways that people think about SEO in this gorgeous graphic. So you get the how, where, can, will, which, who, are, what, when, and why. So every single angle of that keyword, the front, the back, and the sides. Now, this is great. You can see when should you SEO, when to stop SEO, when to use SEO versus SEM. So I'm getting a ton of great ideas that, like here, will SEO exist in five years? I could have it in a video series. Remember, findability is about understanding how people think and then molding and crafting your content to meet that request. So human intent through data. When you're looking at this, these are humans. This is what people are putting into a search engine and they're looking for help. So if you can point your content, your thought leadership around what you're seeing in this graphic, you're gonna have much better traction than just kind of making stuff up from scratch in your own head. Now, you can also download the boring CSV file or you can save this gorgeous image Put it up in your cubicle or in your room or in your office and you'll look instantly smarter because it's super cool. Now, if you come down, you're gonna get prepositions, comparisons, this versus that, 
and then every possible alphabetic that you can imagine. Now what you're seeing here, do you guys see the gray? The gray numbers on here is actually search volume. So you'll see here SEO agency gets 18,100 searches per month. That's not something that Answer the Public is giving me. It's giving me, it's from my next favorite tool, which is called Keywords Everywhere. Now Keywords Everywhere is a plugin, oh, I'm sorry, an add-on to Google Chrome. And you'll see what it does is it takes all the data from Google and overlays it on top of Answer the Public. It also shows up in Google uh, search results. So what I'm gonna do is pop over here. So finally, Keywords Everywhere is absolutely fantastic. It's a very simple install. So let me show you what you need to do. Once you go to keywordseverywhere.com, install for Chrome first. You're gonna see this guy. Go ahead and add it. Mine's already added, but go ahead and add it to um, Chrome. Now, once you do that, you're gonna see this little tiny, you guys see that right there? So I'm gonna click on that. Then you'll see right here, settings. So go to settings right here and you're going to get API key. So then you're gonna to go to API key, give your email address, and then agree to the terms and conditions. It's gonna send you an email, it comes from Kevin. <laughs> I don't know why it comes from Kevin, but it always shows up in your spam filter. So make sure you go to your spam filter, find the email from Kevin, click on that, and you're gonna get your API key. Copy that, and then put it in. And then we're gonna to go to keywords everywhere, and then you're gonna validate. Now here's what happens when you do this. It's a little bit kind of weird, so post in the comments below. If you have any questions about how to do this, I'm more than happy to help you. Uh, you can also email me at heather at findability.com and I'm more than happy to walk you through how to get this set up. All right, so now we're gonna go to google.com and I'm going to now type in any keywords. So let's go ahead and put SEO workshop. Okay, so what you're gonna see here is it's giving me the recommended pull downs. So you'll see here it's got SEO Workshop NYC, SEO Workshop Melbourne. You see all these, London, Philippines. These are all the different ways people search. And you can also see that I can put just SEO Workshops and I'm gonna get different phrases. Now what you'll see here for SEO Workshops is it gets 170 searches a month. Look at this though, over here it integrates into the search results all of these different suggested or related keywords. So you'll see SEO training gets 6,600 searches, but it's gonna be much more competitive. Certification, of course we have all the Moz, and then we have SEO training course. Now if I come down here, you're gonna see a lot of other phrases that I might consider for content generation. So I am absolutely crazy about keywords everywhere. It is a fantastic tool and it is absolutely free. Yay for free. So have fun, Canva's free. Of course, SEM Rush you're gonna to have to pay for, but it's absolutely worth the money. Answer the Public is a free tool as well, as is Keywords Everywhere. So have fun geeking out over my favorite tools, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Let me know how it goes with these tools, because I know they're, not, they're brand new to you, they're not new to me, so I can talk about them all day long every day but I wanna make sure that you're getting the value from these videos as well. So post in the comments below. You can also follow us on Instagram at findability underscore university. And we post a bunch of other tips, tricks, and tools that you can use in your normal everyday online marketing strategy. We'd love to see you on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook, of course, and subscribe here on YouTube. We'd love to have you watch our future content.